Hi there. Welcome to the latest episode of my 10 Minute Moan. And the topic of this 10 Minute Moan is John Swinney, who is just about to lose some friends in the Green Party. He, uh, he's going to boot them right in the Green Ads. John Swinney says gender reform legislation will not be introduced by his SNP government. The new FM said a court confirmed Holyrood cannot legislate in this area. I can hear we party carvey then somersaults in anger as we speak, right? The First Minister, John Swinney, has ruled out introducing legislation and gender reform after a previous law was vetoed by the UK government. Swinney said his government can't legislate in this area or proceed with a previous plan that fell foul of devolution settlement. Last year of Nicola Sturgeon's administration was dominated by a bill to make it easier for trans people to change gender. This is where they were trying to reduce the amount of time you spent being in the other um, gender before you could officially change gender and they try to bring down the age limit of deciding you wanted to change gender. And I think they were going to bring it down for three months. Oh, aye, and you didn't need any medical person to um, diagnose you as having gender dysphoria. You could just say, I'm a woman, I've decided, and that was it. And surprise, surprise, it was an illegal thing, and it got knocked in the head. But the plans were hugely controversial, as critics believed they posed a risk to women and girls. Imagine that. Imagine me just saying, oh, I'm, I'm a girl, and you know, deciding I'm going to have free access to girls' changing rooms, toilets, and general safe places for women. So... MSPs passed the Gender Recognition Bill, but the Secretary, so got Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack, issued an order preventing it from coming into force. Court of Session upheld the decision. In an interview with Sky News, Swinney said he would not try and introduce the new law. The reality of the situation we face is that the Supreme Court has said that we can't legislate in the, that area. We can't take forward that legislation. I accept the rule of law. And that's the position we find ourselves in. We cannot proceed with that legislation. But I think that what's the most important thing that I can say is that to LGBT people in our society, the Scottish Government is on their side. We have been on their side and we will be on their side in years to come. Asked if he would abandon the GRR bill, he said, we quite simply can't proceed with it. It's legislation that can't be implemented, so we cannot take that forward. Now, here lies an odd thing. You, <laughs> you've already failed in an attempt to hold another referendum, and the courts told you exactly where it was, where you stood with that. But, do you know what? See if we get 30 seats in Westminster in the next election, that'll be a mandate for a referendum. Complete bollocks, because you could do that with about 30 to 35% of the vote, but you're deciding that you're just going to do that. So it seems that this is a bit of a cop-out for you, John, to be honest with you, because when you don't need to respect law, which you're saying that you do in this instance, but when you don't want to accept it, you just ignore it. But in this instance, it's a high rule of law. Rule of law says we can't do it, so we're not going to do it. You're a total, total hypocrite and you've only been in the job a matter of days. Anyway, back to the story. SNP figures were hopeful a compromise in gender reform could be reached with an incoming Labour government. However, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer was critical of the GRR bill and is enthusiastic about returning, is not enthusiastic about returning to the issue. Probably quite right. Because some people get their knickers in a total twist over this whole G... It's just nuts, right? Just chill out, relax. People are in the wrong body. They suffer from gender dysphoria. They can change gender. The law allows that. We don't need to change it, right? Why would we need children to be able to decide if they want to be um, girls or boys, you know, on a whim? Why would you want to reduce down to living like uh, opposite gender for three months before you just, that's, that's legal? Why would you want to be able to change something 
the scientific agenda without any professional input. Why would anybody want to do that? So, you're quite right, so, Keith Stammer, just stay away from it. There are, there's laws there. You want to do it, it can be done. Nobody's in a position where they cannot change gender. So, what's the problem? So, in his deputy, Kate Forbes, whose appointment has been criticised by Scottish Greens, you're no kidding, was a GRR sceptic. I'm guessing this is Swinney again, it says, he said, the protection of the rights of LGBT individuals in our society is absolutely fundamental to my government. The protection of those rights and enhancements of those rights. Well, I, you know, I, I dare say, you know, everybody deserves rights. And if there's something wrong with the rights we've got just now, then they need to be looked at. That doesn't mean they need to be changed. That means they need to be looked at. And, you know, when you've got, things like the cash report that some people just want to complete Harvey wants to completely ignore because it doesn't suit your narrative or when there's laws in place and they don't suit your narrative either you don't get to throw your bummies out the pram and just go ah, it's no fair I can't get what I want but that's not progressive government although that's how you believe it is it's not progressive at all it's dummy out the pram politics and demanding if I don't get I'm not doing Fine, crack on, just let the big adults, you know, with the big boy pants on, just, you know, get involved in proper politics. And if you want to stand away over here and just cry LGBT people are not being treated fairly while the rest of the population over here are wanting to go on and have a better country, then just stay over there, right? Just stay out of the road. But no, you've got to make it front and centre. And as a good friend of mine often says, are they majoring on the minor? Right? We've got a big bag of bother with that size in Scotland now. Big bag of stuff that needs sorted out. And then we've got meat issues running about it that look as if they don't need sorted out. They just don't suit some people. So, can we get back to looking after this big bag of shite as opposed to these wee things that are not even problems? In, in the real world, on the problems, right? And Patrick Harvey's head are a problem, okay? Um, and just, you know, try and sort out what we've got, the proper issues in the country. And, listen, nobody says LGBT people don't need, um, you know, looked after in society and, you know, given proper rights, that goes without saying. But, as I've said this before, you've got to, as society, look after the minority, but you can't always do it when it's just detriment to the majority. Okay? And in safe spaces alone, I would guess the Scottish population is about 50% ladies, and I would guess the Scottish uh, population of L uh, transgender people is less than half of 1%. So you cannot put legislation in that lets somebody that's transgender get what they want, which is to walk into a changing room, safe spaces, just because they feel like it, and just because they've they've told society that they're, they're a female. You know, it's not, they've never been diagnosed with gender dysphoria, they've just decided one day, I'm going to be a woman. And then that we have to protect that person's right to then be able to legally walk into toilets, changing rooms, you know, um, go to swimming and go into a women's changing room, right? That's, no, that's not normal because then you're affecting 50% of the population's rights to actually be in that safe space. And that's not to say that nobody that's trans, if you've genuinely got gender trans um, dysphoria, and you've been, you know, treated to help you do what you want to do. And then, for all intents and purposes, some people would suggest you are a woman. Then, that's a different topic. But that's not the topic we're at now. We're at a topic where I've loved to put a dress on, called myself Christina for three months. I'm now a woman. I can do what I want. You can't do what you want, mate, when there's potentially 50% of the population going to get affected just because you want to do what you want, all right? It's not how society works. Anyway, 
enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. Um, if you've not already subscribed, please consider doing so. Get involved with the comments. We'll always have good chat in there. Most importantly of all, I sure Patrick Harvey, Lorna Slater, John Swinney or any of his cult who think LGBT rights must come in front of everything in the world. It's not. Everybody else, have a great day. Cheerio, bye now.